Toad. Why are you up here? There is nothing here for you, my guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoops. Hello everybody, welcome to Explorations. My name is Rob. I am here in Killarney Provincial Park and I am getting ready to embark on a nine day paddling trip in the backcountry. It's myself, my wife, our friends Mark and Melissa and their daughter. And yeah, it's gonna be great, I'm looking forward to it. It's four different sites uh, across three different lakes. So there's gonna be lots of paddling, a little bit of portaging and some good times. So stick around and check it out. So as has been known to happen when on paddling trips, I have to walk to the put-in because the parking lot is rammed. Uh, we are at the Bell Lake put-in. It is Civic Holiday Weekend, so I guess it's to be expected there's going to be a lot of people here, but check this out. This is this parking on the road, and this isn't even the parking lot. Oh yeah, parking is definitely at a premium. I had a little bit of a walk. But I was able to unload the canoe and the gear down the water, so at least there's that. So here's the actual parking lot. Also full, as you can see. Two rows of this. Two rows of full parking lot. Bell Lake. The Bell Lake put in. I think our campsite is like a hundred meters that way for the first night. And we are off on our, what, 150 meters? <laughs> 150 meter paddle trip for the first day. Woo! Don't wanna wear ourselves out too much. Up over here and we're here good job good hustle team we it sure is okay night one tent set up a little bit of a mountain tent in this campsite this campsite does not have great tenting locations also very rocky so we had to do some interesting peg setups using roots because they only went down like an inch or so so yeah but hey it'll work it'll keep us dry it's just for one night also over yonder you see our unfortunately placed thunderbox privacy could be an issue <laughs> privacy will be an issue <laughs> I don't know how we're going to work that out yet, but we'll work something out. Yeah, that's the end of the first day. Sun's still up, but it's going to start getting dark soon. And GoPro doesn't work so hot in the dark. But yeah, bug in the eye, always classic. Uh, yeah, super grueling day. We paddled all the way from the other side of the bay, all the way here. Probably took like 10 minutes. <laughs> but tomorrow's a longer day. We're gonna pack up camp. Um, I think it's like five, six K to our next campsite. 
uh, a little portage in between. So yeah, it should be exciting. And if nothing else exciting happens tonight, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Morning of day two. It is a very nice morning. Very bright. Um, I was wrong yesterday. We are not going to the next lake today. We are staying on this lake, but we are going to a different site, so there's a little bit of a paddle. Um, making some tea right now. I think maybe after tea, I will quickly show you on the map what we're doing, and then we'll go do it. Maybe eat breakfast somewhere in there? Yeah. Plans. <laughs> so, uh, let's review for your sake and so I remember because I keep forgetting what our plan is. But we are in Killarney, we're on the east side of the park. And yesterday we put in here at the Bell Lake starting point. And then we did this big paddle all the way over there to site 83. And then the plan today is we are moving from 83 to 87? Yep. Yes, 87. Which is what, like two kilometers? Yep. Maybe three. And still on Bell Lake. And then tomorrow we pack up again and we head all the way around to 114. On Balsam? Is that Balsam Lake? Yeah, Balsam Lake. And that's a bigger paddle. That looks like it's six or so k 40 meter portage and then from there we carry on off the map into david lake in a few days but we'll review again when we get to that point so yeah plan is to break our first camp and then move on to the next site i know it's a a lot of movement but unfortunately that is how the site booking worked out if you live in Ontario and camp in Ontario, you know our park booking is a little ridiculous. And this is sometimes what happens, but hey, it'll be an adventure regardless. Who doesn't love adventures? Day two, campsite number two. What is this site number? 137. 137, which is different than what's on our maps because our maps are old. But this is site 137 on Bell Lake. Let's take a look. Pretty nice, lots of pine. And there's a lovely breeze today. I think we lucked out on our first couple sites. Hopefully they're all like this. All right, that is the end of day two. Woo! We got full bellies, full of chili and wine and bannock together at last. It's been a lovely evening. We will see you tomorrow.
day three. Morning. So there was gonna be a possibility of rain today. Um, fortunately, we haven't been able to check the forecast for the last three days. I mean, it looks nice now, but it is getting a little cloudy. We'll see, it could be a wet day. All right, rain pants are on, rain boots are on. Well, rain boots. I hate wet socks, so no socks are best socks. Uh, Raincoat is not on yet, but it is ready to go should the need arise. And we are very quickly packing up camp. And hopefully it doesn't rain, but if it does, we'll be packed up. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I don't know. Blue skies again. Yeah, why is it magic? Right behind you. So maybe like we just caught the edge of the storm. Maybe it was further south, which explains all the cloudiness earlier. But I mean, it looks okay now. And the wind has changed direction again, back to the way it was yesterday. I don't know. Cautiously optimistic. No rain yet. Let's hope it stays that way. And we're on shore. Say bye to our campsite. Bye campsite. Shocking turn of events. The wind is at our back for a change. <laughs> And enjoy it while it lasts, because this is pretty rare. And whee! Look at us go! Wind power! Now we're going the other way! Portage number one, grueling 40 meters. Cool old railway or canoe lift over, boat lift over thing. This definitely seems easier than the actual trail. Hopefully it comes out to the same spot. On the lake again. No more portage on the lake again. Oh, well, this is Balsam Lake, right? Yeah. Balsam Lake. The lake with our third campsite. It does seem to have quite a current right now. Yes, it is a little breezy. Campsite number three. Let's see what we got. Ah. We had some good luck with sight. So we made it to our site. We are mostly set up, but this isn't looking particularly promising. We might get a little bit of rain, but at least we're at the site. So we can just hide if we have to. No canoeing or portaging in the rain, which is fine with me. I think we're good. It's rain and rain. Well, ours was sitting in that. Yeah, so eventually it's gonna... Everything was going so well. <laughs> we got our, our lake green. Yeah. Tent. We're in a bit of a divot. Which we didn't notice until it started raining. Ugh. Now we got this lovely creek. But we don't really want to sleep on a waterbed. Thunder. 
Yeah. The other issue, and at the same time we discovered the lake, we noticed our fly was leaking. So now we got this set up. Classy. Let's go see what's going on in here. Oh, oh God. Yeah, so there's some mud. And yeah. Nice wet spot on our bed. Two nice wet spots on our bed. Uh, we were due for a new tent anyways. I just wish I knew about the leaks before we were three days into a nine day trip, but c'est la vie. Yeah, check this out. It's like a waterbed. <laughs> so, the fly may be leaking, but the floor is holding up pretty damn well so far. I'll try to get all the, uh, stuff we don't want wet off of the floor just in case but i mean that's pretty impressive i've never been able to make ripples in the floor of my tent before <laughs> oh my gosh all right we gotta do some more some more digging is somewhat averted. Um, our floor is no longer a waterbed. Everything's a little damp. We got some nice channels dug. Try to keep the rain out from underneath as much as we can. I think as long as it's not like a hard rain, the ground can just deal with the absorption, it was only that we had like a really, really heavy downpour for a bit. And I think that's what caused all the issues. But yeah, got some drying of equipment to do and some drying of bedding to do, which will be interesting because there's not really anywhere to dry it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Rainy days. <laughs> raining too bad right now. I dare say it's almost dry. Blue sky! Blue sky! Next time on Explorations, the enchanted forest of wet items. <gasps> and we are going to be hiking up this. That is Silver Peak. That is the highest point in Killarney. At 5K up, 5K down, nice 10K hike to a good view, hopefully. <laughs>